Welcome to Good Mythical More. Doritos is coming out with all kinds of flavors. Not as many flavors as Kit Kats, but we wanted to give the power to you. And so uh, my understanding is that you have pitched Doritos flavors, and so has Danny. And we're gonna pitch them directly to Doritos. Yeah, we right are. now. But first, let's give $1,000 to Equal Justice Initiative to aid in their mission to end mass incarceration and excessive punishment, to challenge racial and economic injustice, and to protect basic human rights for the most vulnerable people in American society. Please join us in giving at EJI.org. Hello! Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we will. yeah, yeah. Uh, Having I, some fun with the Palumbo. I used to, Just hanging out. I used to work with a guy who anytime I walked into work, he would say, uh, let's get ready to Palumbo. Oh, oh, okay. We, well, that was yeah. better than what we just did. Yeah, we were about we were kind of like maybe doing that subconsciously and not realizing it. Yeah. And not really delivering oh, yeah, the it has the We didn't same even know it was happening. Tone. Yeah. Did you have, ever have a PE, PE teacher that would just call you Palumbo? Oh, yeah. And a police chief. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, father, mother, they all call me by my last name. Palumbo. Palumbo, get in here right now. <laughs> Guys, I feel you're like nailing I'm... the outfits again. Oh, yeah. I mean, every time yeah, now. Yeah, slide, slide well, over I, a little bit. You talk, oh, you're talking like the way we between coordinate? these two yeah. guys? Well, and also, it's like, well, like and, a, and a, Link is no, nice. on, you're, like you're, No, you're hitting the, you're hitting, like, a, you're the tie-in, yeah. another yes. tie-in with yeah, the, with the yeah. color scheme. Yeah, we need a little bit of, yeah, I think this looks great. Look at us. The Palumbo boys. <laughs> we're all brother. We're all Palumbos now. Uh, Doritos flavors. Do we think there could be more of them? There's a lot, as I was saying. I've rarely been disappointed by a new Doritos flavor. That's all I'll say. I feel I'm the same way. I think that when when I think about Doritos flavors, I prefer the new iterations to like Nacho or Oh really? Cool brand. I really like uh, Salsa Verde and Tapatio is probably my personal Tapatio favorite. Tapatio is the yeah. hands down best Doritos flavor. Do you think so? Okay, I I feel the same. One hundred percent. And I yeah. recently, independently, yeah. made this discovery because we yeah. got some chips for a party, and I was like, mm, Tapatio, got them, tasted them next to Nacho Cheese, and I was like, yeah. Wow, this is everything Nacho Cheese is plus more. This is the best flavor of Doritos. So I've it ever is had. Nacho Cheese plus the hot sauce. Uh, it's I cheesy. If it's there not, is it, cheese in it, and I, I wish I could see the ingredients right now, it, you really can't taste it as much as the Tapatio, which is like pretty spicy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's it great. It really lingers, yeah. So I'm a fan. So uh, one of the things I do at sports, aside from gorging myself every day, is I uh, use my culinary know-how and palate to, you know, dream up new inventive flavors for some of our favorite products. Now, okay. we pulled some of the Mythical Beast. I also have some flavors I would like to pitch y'all. Okay. And so I think we'll like pick, uh, what are some of the best flavors? Yeah, we'll shark tank it. That you uh, think could work. How much How much are we willing to put into this venture? Uh, yeah, let's just see. Let's, let, not, we're, we're not giving you a number. Okay. We have a lot of resources. You have to start in the negotiations. We got a lot of resources tied up in ashtrays and decoys right now. <laughs> so we're going to have to divert some. Okay, so this comes from a mythical beast at Daniel S. Whiffen. Crab Ooh, dip. Whiffen. Crab dip. Cra oh, so sea Crab dip. When you get into seafood and chips at that point, yeah. is there, are there like a... Is there? Here we go. Look, we got top of to you. You can try them right now, Link. Um, yeah. You want one? Have you had? Uh, well, I would think you like that shrimp. Look, this is, they went jogging with this too. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how crushed they are. Well, what, it, this wasn't should, planned. This wasn't planned. It's just like try one of these first. Actually, Carney was jogging out of the room to go get those. A little sprint. A little sprint. You know, they're a little stale, but I still like it. Wait, they're actually very stale. <laughs> yeah, don't I'll run worry faster about next time, Danny. Up. Sorry. The seasoning contains, um, well, there's cheddar cheese. That's one of the ingredients. Yeah. Wait, where did that bag come from? I've got all kind of questions now. I don't know that I've ever had a, a chip pocket. that stale. Before. Right. It was really Cardi's stale. It was pocket. very stale. Um, Which I'm, is a name of another pop up that we're actually starting. Carney's pocket. <laughs> they're not that old. They're not even expired. They're well, cheesy. A little bit expired. There, there might be some. There is some cheese in there, but it definitely comes across as just the top of to. I mean, it packs a punch. That's you guys' favorite. Well, we gotta get we gotta get one fresh off the factory line for you. You know what I like before this was the right, spice, yeah. spicy nacho, which comes in a purple bag. Oh yeah, there's a sweet chili, and then there's also a there's a salsa verde that's really good too. There goes yeah. Carney again. 
Oh, he so he faked shoes? like he was going to run, and I thought he was falling out of his chair, and it scared me. Crab dip, though, is... Okay. Well, yeah, isn't, it, isn't crab dip spicy? That mm, no. I don't... No. Maybe to like a toddler. <laughs> you know how toddlers think everything is spicy? Oh, sure. This milk is hot. Including what? toothpaste? There could be yeah. like an Old Bay situation. Okay, that's what crab, I was thinking. you know? Steve. Yeah, so if you could like recreate the flavor, I'm thinking Old Bay. Can you make crab powder? Oh, crab sure. powder, yeah. Oh yeah, crap. Do you do you like anything shrimp flavored? Because you like shrimp in general, but is there no. any like chip or anything that you like the shrimp flavored? I, I have not. Because that's found really that. hard to pull off, and I, I would think, think so. crab would be very similarly hard to pull off. It's going to be a tough one. It's a tough sell. What about sell? those um the like Vietnamese uh, shrimp chips? Can't I've do. It. I was going to say I think this is a tough sell in in the U.S. of A. Yeah, but no, I think no, but you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Like they're they make like a foam. Out of shrimp, and then they're they're like the white round yeah, shrimp chips, like a wafer, kind of. Yeah. Oh, the f yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I like those. I don't know if Doritos is going to be able to go there though. Okay, here's one. Uh, this is coming from my dome. It's called a Completo Dorito. So okay. great name, right? Yep. yep, yep. Wait, why good name. You? Okay, thank you. Good name. You didn't want to give me credit. But you, Completo okay. Dorito. <laughs> Completo Dorito. <laughs> Completo Dorito. There Dorito is, Completo. I think. It's, oh, that's the better. Would, I think that order really, really does it. Okay, now I, we're all. I gotta, all. you know, I gotta feel like I'm adding something. Is there to a tapatio in it? We're all business mm -hmm. partners now. Uh, so there is a Chilean hot dog called a Completo that comes topped with uh, mayonnaise, tomato, and I don't like tomatoes. Mayonnaise, tomato, uh, salsa americana, and avocado. So distilling Ooh. that into a bag. Can you dry hot dog powder? I gotta ask Josh about yeah, that. Yeah, you can make, you can, dry you can do anything, anything. You can dry right. anything you want. I like the name better than the description. I think I do too. Dorito Completos, yeah. I, I, I thought you were gonna say it's just all the flavors together. Well, that might be a better pitch. That but sounds Completo, like a good hot dog, I, I didn't know that was a, yeah. a Chilean hot dog. Have you had this hot dog in Chile? No, but I've made a- Chile. I've, oh, was it it's Chile? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, okay. I was gonna see if you would correct me. You guys had this on International Hot Dogs. We had this on in International you Hot did? Dogs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I remember it like it was yesterday. Well, yeah. when I went out to the Mythical Kitchen pop up, they had a Venezuelan hot dog. Which, I got one, which was yeah. absolutely incredible. Which you know, I think it it was similar in that they're playing around with different textures and flavors that we typically don't experiment with on American yeah. hot dogs, which I think we should be. Yeah. South America loves hot dogs. So I would love Chilean to. Chilean Completo. Yeah. So Completo Dorito, Dorito Completo. Good name. Maybe the execution of the flavor could be a little better. I think that's fair. And is there a wiener on the package? Oh, yeah. Okay. Full of hot dogs. Okay. It comes in a giant hot dog shaped bag. Oh, well, now we're talking about I, changing the product and changing yeah. the packaging. I don't that's... think you should call it Dorito Wiener Completo because. No, that's bad. No, that. Yeah. No, all kind of lawsuits. Yeah. Involved there. Okay. All lawsuits. When hey. Your, when your wiener completes. Let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that what we call it? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This comes from, uh, pre I'm pre about to complete. <laughs> Prematuro completo. <laughs> That's what a robot would say. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's when, when robots reproduce. Control, alt, complete. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. This comes from Playboy. I, it has an I, so I want to pronounce it right. Boy. Boy. <laughs> this comes from Playboy Stefan. Blue cheese. Now, they did make a blue cheese Ooh. flavor, but they discontinued it, and it was also paired with, I think, hot wings. So in the same bag. Ooh. This came from like 2012, I believe. But oh, How did it, I live through this without it, knowing it? I didn't know about was it Was it either. two different chips in one bag, or was it I think, one flavor on all the chips? Well, it was confusing from the package, but it looked like it had two different chips in one bag. So you would get a bite of a hot wing, and then you would get a bite of a blue oh, cheese. Oh, it was a Doritos Collisions. Yeah. I do think I had oh. this one time. Uh, Man. Collisions is a weird name. Doritos, collateral damage. What? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, here's the thing. I don't remember this as, I, you know, I actually remember seeing this package, but the fact that I don't remember the experience makes me think maybe they didn't nail it. Because if, yeah. you, if you like yes. blue cheese, you love blue cheese. 100%. And if you, do you don't like, like blue cheese, you hate blue, blue cheese? cheese. I do. I like all the weird, funky cheeses that yeah. Yeah, mm. smell. And, do you? No. No? No blue cheese? Nope. Okay. I'm learning more about you. <laughs> Every I'm, time I come here, just, I, I learn something. I'm just trying to get in the middle of this love fest. 
<laughs> you know, just like, hey, oh, guys. Oh, we're vibing right now. Keep your hands off shirts, each other, guys. Shirts, I fibers. will say, if somebody doesn't like blue cheese, I don't trust their their, their palate I, I, in general. So I don't trust his right. palate. I don't need you to. It's like an indicator that, you guys like, are tasting there's going to be day. a whole lot of things that you don't like that I do like. He's you not know? He's not watching me taste things and, and like, oh, I'm going to Blue cheese right. love is the litmus test of if you've got a palate that I can I can follow and I can okay. trust. Okay. <clears throat> Here, and I'll pitch one. <clears throat> I think I have a stale Tapatio Dorito stuck in my throat. <laughs> to me, the, to me, the test is: Can you give a good, sincere apology? Yeah. Wait for what? For, yeah. Right now, Danny. Oh me? Oh no! I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who am I apologizing yeah. to? Like? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just get used to it. Okay, enhanced ranch. This comes from me. Oh, so good. You're good with the names. I feel like I'm good. Enhanced names. ranch. That's that's got the an, enhanced uh -huh. ranch. Eh, does that make you hungry when you hear that? <laughs> you when you hear those vowels? I think eh. we figured so out a how good is commercial. It, how is uh, it enhanced? Okay, so Doritos used to do a tangy ranch. Now I think in their ingredients, Cool Ranch has buttermilk in it, but they would put sour cream in the tangy ranch. So I'm thinking, uh -huh. well, a lot of times when I make ranch at home, or like if I go out to get ranch, you know, uh, go out to a restaurant, order a bowl of ranch, uh, dill, some addition of herbs. I like a lot of green in there sometimes. I'm also thinking double down with buttermilk and sour cream so it's tangier and it's also a little bit herbier. That's what I'm thinking. So a little more of a ranch flavor. Cool Ranch is great, but like, you know, enhanced. Right. Flavor enhanced. pitch, man. You're, yeah, okay. You're, you're good yeah. at this. I, I like thought you stuff. might say it was like sprinkle with a little Cialis oh. or something <laughs> like that. You know what That's I'm saying? That's another idea. Yeah. yeah, or at least some of that. What's that testosterone pill that those two, uh, like Doug Flutie and uh, Frank Thomas, sell <laughs> that you yeah. see when you like watch news during the day? Yeah. Like when when I'm traveling, Doug it's Flutie. the only time I like watch news during the day. And mm -hmm. this commercial featuring I don't Frank know Thomas and Doug Flutie comes on, and they're selling this hormone repl. I don't know yeah. what it is. It's it, I'm sure it doesn't actually work. But uh, don't know I, that. I wouldn't know. Nugenex. 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 Okay, so this we could do a Nugenex collab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nugenex. Uh, so ra enhance ranch, <laughs> and then we put Doug Flutie and Frank Thomas on right. the bag. Got it. In the end of the commercial, Frank Thomas yeah. always says, after they go through all the things, he says. And the ladies will love it too. Like it's like yeah. he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants. He wants. He, or like you know. It, it, it says on the website, ignite passion and libido. Yeah. So right. ranch flavor and also rediscover your libido. I think that's <laughs> that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good one too. Dorito libido. libido. There it. we go. Gav. We found it. We're gonna be rich. Okay. Gav ten sixteen said orange chicken sauce. Pencils down. How? Orange chicken Doritos. So they sell chicken salt. I'm, I love chicken salt, by the way. Uh, you could use it to flavor all kind of things. So I'm thinking maybe like that chicken? on a, yeah, you can, there's a restaurant actually in LA that puts it on their uh, chicken wings and it tastes like extra chicken chickeny. Salt. Oh, so, yeah. so you get the chicken salt and then maybe a little yeah. orange zest thrown in there. And I think sugar too, right? Because orange chicken is usually a little Th that, sweet. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's where you got to yeah. watch out. You, you think so? Yeah. 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 But so, you want to do a little bit. I think most yeah. Doritos do have these probably. I'm sure don't. they do have some some, some sugar yeah, in it. Yeah, we're talking uh, less than a gram of added sugar. So you throw it like a, a sprinkle. Yeah. A sprinkle of sugar into it. Just the like a little bit. Because I feel like sugar does help. A, a lot of um, as long as it doesn't taste too sweet, is my is what I think. You, you, wanna, you guys have tried a bunch you don't of like chips. Uh, well, too sweet. I, here's the thing: so many chips. I believe, crazy. and I actually think I've heard this, that you know the the flavor scientists at a place like Doritos. Yeah. The only thing they're really focusing on is how do we make this chip something that when you take when you bite one, you can't stop. Like you literally cannot right. stop eating them, right? And you got to have some sugar in there if you want to pull that off with the human brain. I think so. Sugar. And I think there's just enough sugar yeah. to keep that yeah. keep it going back. You guys have tried like a lot of uh, Thai Lay's flavors or like, you know the Lay's flavors from all across the globe? I think yeah. a lot of them have like uh, yeah, a, like the Splenda and like extra sugar uh, in it too. Yeah. Like, I see. Yeah. It tastes I see. more savory. Yeah, don't like, I don't. You don't like it sweet, okay. Hey, this is one I came up with this morning. Let me pitch you this. I used okay. to live in Austin, Texas for five years. I'm a big Whataburger guy. Oh, you guys it, have tried Whataburger? Uh, this is, sucks, this is controversial. No, no, oh god. Okay, okay oh, Danny, wait. we've tried twice. Yeah, sucks. It's dude. been a bad experience both times. Wait, what'd you guys get? We got the Whataburger. 
Uh, okay. This is this is what I'll say when it comes to burger versus burger, In and Out all the way. I I, I much prefer In and Out's burger. But thank you. The, the entirety of the menu, breakfast taquitos, honey butter chicken biscuit. They do a lot. More I didn't try things. everything, and I do appreciate the, yeah. all the variety. I've had both burgers, and I'm like, I In and Out all the way. So we didn't get that biscuit. I don't believe we had. Like, no, I, don't, I, I didn't even we know. We didn't they really experiment that. with the menu. It was like, hey, yeah. we're here. Let's get the thing that they say is the thing. The thing got to give it another on the side. Give it another you know, try. I don't I think guess. the I don't think the burger is as good. And also, well, I think they sure. might have started the honey butter chicken craze. I think when you saw like Wendy's like sort of adopt it. I think that's Whataburger, bold, Danny. I think I think that's Whataburger might have done that claim. first, though, right? I don't. Okay, that okay, seems... I can't possibly. All right. So, did you guys have the spicy ketchup at Whataburger? I don't know. I don't remember that. I love ketchup chips. That's a Canadian thing, but oh, there's also some yeah, companies here that do excellent. it. So I'm thinking like a spicy ketchup. I don't know if it works super well with like a Dorito. With but the corn base? It might not, but ranch kind of works with it. And, yeah. You yeah. Know, corn and ranch isn't like a classic combination. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to try. The interesting thing about chip flavors is the potato, starting with potato or starting with corn, we've learned on this show that where you go from there really matters. There's some yeah. flavors that are complementary to corn, some that are complementary to potatoes. And when you really start trying to mix, you can get into you can back yourself yeah. into a corner. I, I think spicy ketchup would be, be would be better as like a potato chip. Mm. But hey, let's work better. But you made they're willing one. to try. See they're, it right they're, they're willing to try anything. Well, this is different. Yeah. Okay. I want to taste what you've made. All right, hold on. Wait, real quick. Two more mythical beast. Um, okay. Chip flavors. One is this is from Steakhouse Arc baked beans. Rhett, thoughts? Oh, okay. Um, Eat. I think that's better on a potato too. So this Probably. is this feels like it's going to taste like a barbecue chip with a slightly like a darker flavor. You'd almost have to make the sugary. Doritos from like a little bit of beans or something, right? Like, uh, yeah, I, and I have had bean yeah. like bean tortilla chips before, Same. which are good. You can only eat about a dozen of them though, or else you're going to be causing problems for your relatives. Burn. True. Okay, one Burn. more. This is from Average Siege Chicken Parm. Chicken Parm flavor. Again with the chicken. Yeah, when you got it, when you add, when you're putting the, I don't know. There's a there's been some meats that that work on the bag, right? What are, yeah, what like meat flavors have they added to the what you, well, you see a lot of, uh, God, didn't they used to do like hamburger or... Oh, they've done a cheeseburger. cheeseburger. They've done right. a cheeseburger. They have. Which was good. Yeah, that could work. They have. That, that was work. good. Yeah. I think it was late night Maybe chicken doesn't work too much. Late night cheeseburger? Yep. Yeah, it was late oh, night yeah. cheeseburger. Yeah. All nighter. Okay. So, so you must really believe in this one because you... Constructed it. This one has a lot. Let's move this one. It has a lot of salt on it. Yeah. So uh, with some uh, guidance from Nicole at Mythical Kitchen, she told me how to make like a Doritos flavor. Okay. You, you want get... us to taste it first? Or you gonna tell us what it is first? Oh, you know what? I think you should tell us because that's part of the. It's, you always look at the bag. Expectation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there is a Peruvian pepper called an aji amarillo, aji amarillo, and it is very hard to grow in the states. But they sell the powder. They also sell um, like the paste, and it's a really fruity mild pepper. It's just got like a really nice lasting heat to it. I think it's wonderful and I think it's gonna start showing up in more products. So Ooh, I Okay, got, so bold prediction here. I got powder online and mm -hmm. uh, I coated these chips with uh, a little MSG, salt, a little bit of sugar, and some of the uh, ahi amarillo powder. So, but we gotta, we gotta come up with like a, a name that draws people in. So, huh. nothing that rhymes with Dorito. And it'll hit you a little bit later too, I think. Oh. Well, so it has a little bit of a jalapeno sort of, mm -hmm. it's in that area, but then there's something that sends it in a slightly different direction. Oh, man. What's the pepper? Who does? Aji Amarillo. Aji Amarillo? Mm-hmm. It re yeah, it, um, I mean, it don't play. It's, it gets oh. hotter. It yeah. sounds like a road in LA. <laughs> it's like a what? It, no, like it, that sounds like a road in LA, like a street. Oh, oh, hundred percent. Oh, Ahi Amarillo. Yeah, I live okay. on the corner of Avocado and Ahi Amarillo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do we think? If, if you hit the Aurora Seco, you've gone a little too far. Yeah. Huh? See. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I had one. Okay. <laughs> it's still hot. <laughs> Here's what I can say about it. Is it still hot? I had one. It's still hot. Oh, you know what? In the way those peppers look, that would look really good on a package. People like those. Mmm. People like peppers like that. Orange is a very appetizing flavor. There was a guy in LA work. who grows these. He's like the only person around here who does, and he supplies some Peruvian restaurants with them. And I tried some fresh, and it's incredible. Oh, it's really good. You, oh. you you're trying to get in with the pepper man? I got a pepper guy. All I'm right. on board. Do I get? 
All right. Okay. Uh, thank gotta you. Gotta come up with a good name. I don't know. Just Doritos Ahi Amarillo? No? My How about Aha? Uh-huh. Oh, I like that. Aha, uh-huh. Mario. Yeah, right. Yeah, we have to change it. We have to. We have to. It, this is like when they started calling that Chilean sea bass. It was like called something else that people didn't want to eat. Oh, right. It was like called like a rock head or something like that. It was. It, it, it just wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to eat a rock <laughs> head. You didn't change that. Okay. Well, so, so if okay. we have one shot on on Twitter to use our at mythical force towards Doritos with a plea, what oh, what's oh. what's the flavor that we're gonna push? Oh, we have to do that, don't we? I think we need to. I think we gotta push Palumbo's. Oh. I think we gotta push it. Only if you like it. You know, you don't have he's to pick me just because I'm right here. If he walks out of here. here. Here's the thing. I do like it, but I think in terms of now, I'm thinking about Twitter. Sure. Now I'm thinking about. I think we got to mm-hmm. go with the baked bean flavor because I think that that's something oh. that people are going to be like, oh, it's consistent with the brand. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, you see, oh, did you see baked bean Doritos? It might be a yeah. thing. Like we make the package, yeah. we make it seem like it's going to be real. Oh, because we're going to put this on uh, our Instagram. Yeah. All right. So I think I think, cool I think with that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think that's the answer. Did I just commit people to work that? No, that design? was our plan. We that wanted to plan. we okay. wanted to really spell it out for Doritos yep. and give this thing a real shot. So if it's baked beans, then it's baked Doritos, beans. Doritos, head over to our Instagram. You head over there too. Check out the uh, amazing artwork that we we made it into seemingly a reality. Also go over to Sport. Check out all the rankings, all of the pitches, best ice cream sandwiches, best strawberry ice cream, best mint chip ice cream. I mean, I'm just talking about ice creams right now. Right. Sport.com. You want to know the best flavors of Doritos that actually exist? Well, go to spork.com for Danny's full ranking.